Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. I've done an exact video on this, but maybe not so complete, maybe not as easy to understand. This is a, a macro called Adjust Objects Retain Position. This is a five by 0.93 object. If I select them all, I want them all to be 4.5 and I want them to go from the center. Then I'm just gonna hit enter. And now all my objects are 4.5 and they've changed them all. But that's not really what the video is about. Somebody's having trouble uh, downloading that video. So if I'm gonna go to, and I'm gonna leave a link to this, not this particular one, because he has a lot of videos, but this is the macro and you go to the bottom of the screen or near the bottom and there's the macro right there and you just double click on it. Every computer is going to be a little bit different. You're going to pick on this blue one, which is a folder. And then you're going to hit up here to basically download it. And there it is right there. Now I'm going to right click and show in folder. So it's right there in my downloads. I'm going to move it right now to a USB drive so I can find it more readily. Now I'm going to go, all your macros should be in one spot. So we're going to go to C drive, go to program files, go to Corel, go to Corel draw. And I've only got 2022 years will be 18 or whatever. Go to 2022 and then go to draw and there's your GMS file. So what we need to do is keep that window open and open up our right here where we can see it and just drag it up to your GMS file. Now I've already got one, so it's probably telling me to uh, skip it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. It should be in there now. If it's not in there, go to scripts or yours might say macros. Go down here to macro or it might say macro manager in the old days. And it's right here. If it's not there, go to load and go back to that same way, program, Corel, Corel draw, draw, GMS, and then load it from there. I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it. But once you press this load, it's gonna go look for them. I truly hope this was better. This is a really neat macro put out by our, our friend Eskimo. And we're gonna click on it and, you know, we wanted to make them back to all five inches. And you could, you know, change the, height and stuff separately, but I want them to all grow from the center. And now look at that. Now they're all five inches. You can't do that inside Krill. You cannot change that many things at one time. Now let's tell you what, let's make them uh, four inches by four inches. And there's probably a way to round that. And let's make them go from the left corner. Now they're... I wish I would have made a copy. Let's do that. Let's uh, see how big this is. Uh, well, it's 40 inches because that's my page size. So let's make our nudge factor 40. Let's make a duplicate of this and move it out of the way. And now let's select them all. And we're going to make them go to the top left corner. But if we look, and I'm going to make those black, and if we look at if we nudge these back, they're still all in the same spot, except for they all went, well, relatively close to the same exact spot. Now, if we did it by the center, let's just do that. Um, let's go back to where they were. Tell you what, let's just double check here for a second to make sure I didn't jiggle something. Yep, see, they're right on top of each other. So now I'm going to select these and go four inches from the center. Well, you know what, they're already, well, there it is. These are fives, those are fours. And if we nudge them back, look at that. All of them are back in the center. Pretty 
impressive. But I will put a link to the, I mean, I, it's been a while since I've done an Eskimo um, macro. I mean, there are some, I don't even had them back all loaded since I got my new computer. I mean, circles on a curve are neat. Uh, tag cuts, another one. If you'll, if you'll go to my videos and search tag cuts and what I talk about going to my videos, if you go to my channel, let's just open up a new window, go to Doug Green's video. There's two magnifying glasses. This is going to search all of, all of uh, YouTube. This is just going to search mine. And I can go tag cuts, and it'll bring up a video on tag cuts, which is a phenomenal program uh, written by one of my mentors, Roy Brewer. But anyway, I hope that helped him understand a little bit more, and thank you for watching.